Do you know that you could be having low magnesium levels? Yes, even though your blood reports and blood tests are telling you that you have normal serum magnesium levels, you could still be deficient in it. Today, we're going to look at some signs and symptoms that could show you that you are low in magnesium. Hi, I'm Dr. Itakshi, a clinical nutritionist. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are discussing about signs of magnesium deficiency. So first, let's learn about what magnesium is. So magnesium is a very essential mineral that plays a role in over 300 biochemical reactions in our body. So it's involved in um, energy production, muscle function, nerve function, mental health. It covers it all. So it plays a very important key role in our body functions. So our first sign of magnesium deficiency is fatigue, weakness, or low energy. So if you're feeling very tired and you're feeling muscle weakness all the time and it just does not go away. So this could be a red flag for low magnesium levels. So magnesium plays a role in converting our food into energy. So it produces ATP. So naturally, if you're low in magnesium, then you're going to feel drained out. And so you must look for increasing magnesium in your diet. Second sign is irregular heartbeat. So in this, we have two things. One is tachycardia and one is arrhythmias. So in tachycardia, we have heart rate, which is very fast. Your heart beats fast. So why does this happen? So in our heart, we have calcium and magnesium playing a very important role because calcium contracts our heart and magnesium relaxes our heart. So when we have low magnesium levels, our heart just cannot relax in this contraction relaxation cycle of our heart. So naturally, our heart will beat faster at all times. So we need to have magnesium to lower our heart rate. So arrhythmias is when you have irregular heartbeats. So you could be having palpitations or atrial fibrillation. And these all could be potential signs of getting low magnesium levels. So what you're supposed to do is you can take magnesium to improve your palpitations, but it's still advised to go to your doctor and to go to your healthcare provider and get more investigations done to rule out magnesium deficiency and to see if there's any other cause that causes palpitations. Next sign is feeling numbness and tingling in your feet and your hands. So magnesium plays an important role in the proper function of our nerves. So if we have low magnesium, then our nerve function is um, altered and we especially feel them in our fingers and our toes. So it's important to, of course, eliminate any other, rule out any other diseases or the other medical issues that can cause this numbness and tingling. But if there is nothing, then it could be low magnesium levels. Next, we have muscle cramps, spasms, and even twitches. So magnesium also plays a crucial role in our muscle function. So when we have low magnesium, this could lead to involuntary spasms and involuntary uh, muscle contractions. So if you're feeling um, muscle cramps all the time and there is no relief from that, no matter what you do, then you could consider this to be a sign of low magnesium in, and you might need to increase your intake of magnesium in your diet. Also, you know, sometimes you have twitching of your eyelid or your eyes, and this is also a sign of potential deficiency of magnesium. Next one, as you know, is constipation. Now, lots of people who are low in magnesium get constipated, and sometimes you don't know that constipation is caused um, because you don't have enough magnesium in your diet. So, if you take too much of 
magnesium, then you'll get diarrhea. And this could be used as a sign of how much magnesium is good for you. Next is osteoporosis. Now, if you're diagnosed with osteoporosis, you know you have brittle bones and you need more magnesium in your diet. Why so? Because we have calcium and magnesium both being a very important role in our bone health. So we need to have a proper calcium magnesium ratio in our body at all times because if we have low magnesium levels then our calcium is not being stored in our bones properly and this also stops from rebuilding bones. Next sign is as you guys might know is insomnia. So insomnia or getting sleep disturbances at night uh, waking up frequently. These could all be potential signs of low magnesium. Now, magnesium is known for relaxing your body and having uh, relaxation properties, so it helps you unwind and get a good night's restful sleep. But if you're low, then you might notice that you wake up more in the night and more frequently and you're not well rested. Next, we have migraines and headaches. Nowadays, most of us are suffering from migraines or getting frequent headaches and low magnesium levels could be a potential reason for these. Last but not least, nausea and vomiting. So if you are persistently feeling nauseous and feel like puking, then this could also be a sign of having low magnesium levels. So as you know that magnesium plays a vital role in our muscle regulation and contraction. So this includes our digestive tract muscles as well. So consider taking magnesium when you're feeling this persistent nauseousness. Also, bonus here is that if you're pregnant and in your pregnancy, you're going through morning sickness, which is very severe. Some women go through very severe morning sickness and this can be helped by increasing magnesium or taking magnesium supplements. So recognizing the signs is the first step in recognizing that you could be potentially deficient in magnesium. So if you resonate with any of these signs and symptoms of low magnesium, then you should consult your doctor or your healthcare provider and you should consider increasing magnesium in your diet. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and family so they can also recognize the signs of low magnesium. And don't forget to share this video with them. And if you found this video helpful and would love to see more videos of such in the future, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel. So in the next video, I'm going to be talking about top foods that are rich in magnesium so that you can naturally have magnesium from your diet.